Guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is BSL 18 Hostel League round of eight. Upper in corner, we got Klaus starting as the yellow Terran. Bottom left Terran, bottom left hand corner, we got Byaxter starting as the red Protoss. Honestly, I feel like Byaxter, this is on Citadel, by the way, another gigantic map. Which I would say the gigantic maps favor Byaxter, but uh, it'll be. So Byaxter, some great play in Apocalypse last map. I'm wondering if he did not try to go for the Corsair build if he would and he just gone standard Arbiter if he would have taken that. Right now, I don't think he has the opportunity to clown around because this, he's on the verge of being eliminated. But he's shown that he can take out Klauso. And Klauso has shown that same action the other direction. <clears throat> so anyway, it's been a great series though thus far, and an absolute fist fight between the two of them. Um Secondary interest here is is so game let's think back to the series game two and the previous match by Axter able to get to early leads with some of that zealot pressure so producing that initial zealot that initial zealot to try to keep his turn opponent honest and absolutely collapsing on him and having some uh, success with that i'll be interested to see if that's the case here but being that it's citadel such a large map and cross positions i could see that being a lot less ineffective and Klauso, it seems like when he's got that breathing room, particularly in the early game, and he's able to skirt those initial vultures out on the map, he is very, very challenging to deal with. It looks like we might see... So, very quick assimilator. So, we'll see if we see a skip. I would be a little bit surprised, actually, to see that initial zealot built here, just because it is Citadel and so large. In the meantime, we are seeing Klauso dropping the uh, barracks and getting that refinery up. Presumably to go for factory into expansion kind of do and, and honestly, especially after game one game two And everything that happened there cybernetic score by the way uh, pretty rapidly before additional zealot um, Considering The uh, aggression in the previous doom. Yeah, I just play it straight up uh, And make sure he gets the three Marines and that vulture out and grabs the expansion after that I think if he just plays safe considering how large the map is He'll have a lot of opportunities here. Second pylon constructed in base. No first sell it as of yet from Byagster. So I think he is just going to go straight into Dragoon play. In the meantime, no scout as well. Scout moving out for Klauso. He's going to head top left-hand corner first, getting that factory constructed. Um, <clears throat> first Dragoon on the way. And we do have just one SCV on gas, so it looks like, yeah, I presume this is going to be Three Marines, Factory, etc. And let's see if the scouting happens with this Dragoon off the bat uh, for Byaxter. Right now, not going to be able to... He wouldn't be able to get a probe up there, but might be able to, with a Dragoon pressing forward, play from there. I wonder if he's also wanting to go two-gate Observer. Never mind. He's just going to go one-gate Expansion. So one-gate Dragoon into Expansion. Try to play the large map from here. I will say if Klauso... So he's building a fourth marine already which is giving him the option i think he's wondering if he's going to run into a 12th nexus which does give him a flexibility option to either have just additional padded marines of the natural expansion or go for a push off of this we'll see if a fifth marine gets queued up no it looks like he's just going to sit with the four kind of like having the four out in the field scv initially going to see the nexus also going to be able to wander in and just see the single gateway in range constructing and upon seeing that, Klaus is going to go, despite the fact that it's a cross map. So, does he have a fifth marine queued up? No. And it's a just to, okay, just wanting to wander out and see. That was kind of odd play there. So moving out as a thought, maybe wanted to see if there's any additional pressure by actually holding that probe bottom right. By the way, still has not scouted his opponent. A vulture now moving out on the map. Barracks out on the front, no bunker as of yet. Klauso can skip that bunker right to second. I think he recognizes he can skip it. One, because of cross position. Also because of a uh, number of other factors. Getting vultures and mines. No siege tank, though, I want to point out. So usually you want a siege tank at this stage. But he went for two vultures before siege tank. And was able to catch that probe bottom right. So additional probe making his way top left. So right now, by axe, you're very much in the dark. He's got three dragoons to defend out in the front, but Klaus is going to have mine upgrades and a lot of vultures out in the field very, very rapidly. Third vulture, still no siege tank. And I like this optimization here from Klaus, so recognizing that it was going to, like, he's going to be able to get vult. He's really got to get mines down, though. So kind of a hold your breath moment here. 
And if this does turn into two gate observer, which it looks like it might, this could potentially blow up in his face. We got a probe, by the way, back here, kind of hiding. And those mines going to be very, very necessary. The Klaus could fill in with a siege tank behind that down the line, but he's still not going to have siege tech. And I don't know. This is this is a little bit dicey. If this turns into observatory after this. What Klaus is going to need to do is have those vultures out on the map and threatening uh, a run by to make sure that Baxter is playing more defensively so that he can get away with skipping the siege tanks here as a follow up. And we're going for a drop on top of it. Wow. So going for a start, got the starport and the drop also cutting into that siege tank count. Engineering Bay also being built. And this is just on a presumption that there wasn't going to be a counter DT drop. Four gateways constructed now, observatory. So by are playing very, very cautiously in the midst of this. Mine's already planted here at the nine o'clock. Looks like there's gonna be a mine established at the six o'clock. Vulture speed gonna finish. And we have the first tank being built around that six minute mark. And I'm curious if that's gonna turn out to haunt Klaus down the line or not. If not, this is a really fun play. And the other aspect is these mines give nice forewarning. First of all, of the Dragoon numbers, but, uh, but also their positioning. Additional pylon. Provide a little bit of support there on that front. And Siege Tech finally getting upgraded. Kind of uh, Klaus was MO going for that le late Siege. But another issue is, is with the four Vultures making their way across. I love it. Klaus drawing some of those Dragoons out of position. And the drop making its way in. Let's see how Biaxter reacts. Two left at the natural expansion. Able to get a lot of kills already. And this is as a, a number of the Dragoons pushed away. And the other two able to get in the main and assassinate that line. So by actually emptying at his natural expansion, plummeting. This is a great attack from Klauso. So not only is he not going to get punished for the lack of siege tanks in between here. He's getting all sorts of value. The Vulture's still sitting there at the natural expansion, shutting that down. And he is dropped by Axter to a near all-in situation here where he's down to... Is he going to get him down to 24? Nearly plummeting him to 24 workers. And this is two babes versus two babes. Klaus was just going to have a stronger economy and some Dragoons dying to mines at the natural. Holy cow. What a drop. That's about as... That's about as strong as you want. Like, that is incredible. So now Klaus, so all of a sudden... With double the economy. In a situation where you could follow this up, maybe even with four factories and have an overwhelming amount to go to deliver a killing blow. Able to pick off that probe that was trying to sneak out to grab a quick additional base. We have a shuttle with some zealots marching out. And I think by Axter, yeah, has to play risky now and go for some sort of aggressive push at the natural expansion or maybe elevator some troops in and hope for it because I don't see another way out of this. So actually as a significant army considering the supply differential, the observer checking the high ground. This is now a five factory investment with the second machine shop dropping in the midst of it. So Klaus is going to have a very strong economy. The zealots moving up. They are going to find those siege tanks grouped and here come the dragoons. Able to get at least tank. Looks like it is going to be wiped out as well. So the natural expansion scattered. The four Marines doing some work on the units, however. So only three Dragoons remaining. And so even though the siege tank count was reset, Klaus is able to scatter, repair everything. And he's going to have five factories to come back at this. And a much healthier economy as well. So, as soon as Byaxter honestly has, I would say, five siege tanks, he could probably move out, particularly because that'll, if I'm timing this right, that'll be around when he has plus one as well. I don't know that Byaxter is going to have sufficient troops to defend any sort of army incursion. Robotic support bay dropping. Vulture is moving out, going to clear up, try to clear up the remnants. Nice bit of micro from Byaxter picking off some mines and some vultures as they're getting chased down, but they're going to get cleared out. And Klauso off the, uh, so he, he's got the option. He can go ahead and grab an additional base now if he wants to. 
and go for because he's go for the safe play or he can just start shoving he's got five factories he knows he's done a massive amount of economic damage I Baxter needs a miracle to reset troop counts again so he needs another a major troop count reset looks like he's gonna try to hide a base top left with that probe that was pocketed there <clears throat> Klaus are right the second looks like he's moving out to just go ahead and establish a third with those Marines and maybe what Baxter can do here is and just hope the thing is, is with these vultures out in the field, it's going to be very hard to pull off and maybe hope that he can grab two additional bases and drop a whole bunch of stuff before Klauso gets wind of it. Vulture sweeping across, we do have a probe that is going to be able to get up to drop a second base. So by actually playing the risk of like, okay, let's try to play economic catch up by dropping a bunch of bases and just hoping that our opponent doesn't roll into us. And that we're able to sweep an economic lead. If these vultures just spot top left, though. Which, we got one vulture already heading that direction. That might be it. Because all it'll take is two siege tanks to peel off. Maybe not even that. Single vulture might be sufficient. Photon can warping in. It's been spotted. We do have a shuttle and a reaver making its way across. With some luck, that might be able to equalize things. Workers trying to defend themselves... Dropping a second, the rest of the vultures, yeah, going to stream out. And that should be that for that base. And I think that shuttle might have been spotted by Klauso as well. We'll see, though. It looks like the Reaver going to be able to drop some zealots and get in here at the 3 o'clock. The siege tank's getting some good damage done. That at least, well, it delayed a, a shuttle. Not a lot of worker kills. But Klauso got forewarning. Unfortunately, this is forewarning happening on a wraith being built to try to counter this. Nice plop in, so it looks like he's going to be able to take out a lot of these supply depots. Which is some value. That's If he can halt the supply, that'll be something. <coughs> the cannons creating some interruption in the meantime. And it looks like, yeah, just going to work on the supply depot lines and force Klausa to come to him. But that's in trade for a Nexus. And while on paper that's 400 resources for 400 resources, I assure you that losing... That Nexus is much more costly for Biaxter. Third base up. SCV count still remaining healthy. Third base up for Biaxter, but a bit later than he wanted it to. Going to go ahead and flood some gateways. Double robotics. So it looks like he wants to go for the speed shuttle counter attempt rather than going and recognizing he's not going to have an opportunity to get into Arbiter play. But Klauso with that plus one weapons finished is unseached and it looks like he's uh, gathering a lot of these troops. Observer checking top left to see where that armor uh, army's out. 30 supply lead for Klauso. And at, we'll see how the timing works out. I think he's going to end up well ahead of that plus two weapons as he's marching out. But uh, by Axter in a lot of trouble here. 40 supply lead for Klauso. And even if Klauso doesn't just shove in with this, he can go ahead and just create a perimeter. Lock by Axter to three bases. And at three bases versus three bases with additional bases as optional grabs for Klaus, so that will be advantageous. And now a very difficult to evict situation for Byaxter. Just gonna walk up to that cliffside edge, start sieging that Nexus at the nine o'clock. Dragoon's trying to filter back around to engage this, but they're gonna have to walk into a very strong siege line. Goliath instead of Vultures on the front at the very least. But that will help. Ooh, so shuttle wiped out. A couple zealots able to get there on the low ground. So maybe these front three or four siege tanks going to get cleared out, but there's still plenty more. And I think that is going to be game. Nothing left them by Axter as far as a ground army. Klaus are recognizing it, unseaging, and going to walk the rest of the way in. Oof. So well played by Klaus. So that drop was incredible. I guess I should wait for the last few units to get wiped out here. But I think this is all she wrote. So, 9 o'clock base. Yeah, starting to get hit. The cannon's down. There it is. Very matter from by extra. G, well played. Klauso advancing to the, the semifinal, round four. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Some great matches between these two. Thank you for listening.